Hi you guys, my name is Sharita. Welcome to my channel. Okay, if you if you guys shimmied with me, you have to click the like button. It's mandatory. <laughs> but anyways, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a rant whilst putting on my makeup. And this is just going to be, again, like all of this Trisha, Shane, Jeffree Star drama, it triggered me in such a way that I didn't know it would. But we're going to be that. Yeah. We're just going to be ranting about that and how um, some of us deserve our flowers and some of us deserve apologies, but we'll get into that. So if you're interested in this video, go ahead and keep watching. Before I get started, make sure you click subscribe for new content whenever I post. And also do not forget to click the notification bell so that you are notified every single time that I post a video. So let's get started. Do you guys see the color? Do you see the color? Do you see the fake waves? They're like, like you can't surf in them, but like maybe you could splash around. Do you see? All right. Nikki, I'm coming for your brand. <laughs> Where's that towel? Of course I don't have it because I'm not ready. When am I ever ready? Never! Okay. So if you guys are new or if you guys don't know much about me, we're going to talk about the background of kind of how I started YouTube. So I started on YouTube, I don't know, it was some years ago. Maybe we'll just say five, five years ago. I had a channel and it was Sharita is, is random. And I know you're thinking, isn't that still your channel? No. Um, I... I started it because there were a lot of things that I wanted to talk about. Like I was a super fan of YouTube and there are a lot of things that I wanted to talk about. So I was like, great. Like I'll just be a variety channel. Well, I started talking about cheerleading and my cheer content took off. I'd post a, I'd post a video about cheerleading and I'd get so many views. And then I'd post a video about white privilege and it'd get like five views. So what I did is I just broke off. So I still have my my cheer channel and I and I hid all of the content that had nothing to do with cheerleading. I made all those private and then I started my channel here maybe like 2 years we're going to we're going to say 2 years ago. It might be more than that. But the first and and I think I still was like Sharita is random. I think I still was Sharita is random at the time. But now you guys know I am Sharita Explains It All. So my first video on this channel was about, was Keemstar. I think it was like Keemstar is trash or Dear Keemstar or something like that. But basically I had gotten into the, the drama commentary side of YouTube and I was really into it. So that was kind of my first video. And then I started talking about whatever i started talking about pop culture if i mean if it had to do if if i could give my commentary i was talking about it no matter what the situation so i found a group of friends um on here and it came from mark if you guys don't know who he is um super milkoon he's he was on youtube he's still on youtube but i found him and i was i immediately like bonded with him and his group of friends and pretty much that's that's that was kind of my my end to the drama community, drama commentary community. So the first time that I really got into this the beauty the beauty guru community, drama community, I was watching Here for the Tea, I was watching Sanders Kennedy, um Dustin Daly, um Peter Mon. <laughs> I mean, that was really it. And then it, it got to this point where um, there was like kind of like a, a, a group that was formed. And it, it was like the it was like Dustin, Peter, I think Nick Snyder may have been part of it, Ashley Kyle. And they were all kind of friends. And, you know, I because I was interested in it and in, in their content, I followed them on Twitter and whatnot. So I... I slowly, like I was a fan of, of them, 
but and I and I want to say at this point I had made maybe a video about Shane actually I know for a fact but of course not not many people watch my content back then and that's fine so when allegations of Jeffrey still being a crappy person so okay I need to I need to rethink I need to regroup when allegations of Jeffree Star came out, like of him still being racist and a terrible human being, at this point, I want to say this was after, and I could be wrong, but I want to say this was after the Shane Dawson, um, after the Shane Dawson docuseries. And everybody had, by this time, everybody was like, oh, like Jeffree is a changed person and blah, de, blah, de, blah, right? So, and... And I would be lying if I didn't say that at one point I I myself was like, man, like maybe Jeffrey has changed. And I'd be lying if I said I've never purchased any of his products with my own money. But when David Scissors, Scissorhands came out and said that he had proof that, um, you know, that Jeffrey was still using slurs and was still calling black black women gorillas, I immediately knew he was not lying. Immediately. There was no there was no reason for me not to believe it. Because when somebody shows you who they are, you believe them. Jeffree Star had shown himself to be a terrible human being. And then Shane did his magic. And I was like, okay, maybe, maybe I had the the wrong, you know, the maybe I had the wrong idea about him. But when David came out and said what he said, I was like, well, damn. I like I felt like I was gooped like like I got played played for a fool that's how I felt maybe that's why oh my gosh what's my foundation maybe that's why I'm so irritated about this whole situation but either way I knew so then um by by this time oh in Rich Lux so by this time I want to say people would hear something about anybody else in the drama or in the beauty community and take it and run with it um I think at this point Manny had already been canceled for doing nothing other than being a bad friend but when this when this information about Jeffrey came out everybody in the drama community was just like oh no 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 like we we need proof we need without a doubt proof that that Jeffrey said these things right and I mean, I get it. You don't want to blindly um, assume anything, you know, um, or follow, blindly follow a trend just because I guess at the time people thought it was cool to hate on Jeffrey um, when it was really like, can we just hold Jeffrey accountable? A lot of people thought it was like cool or trendy to, to go against Jeff, not, not go against him, but to call him out. And a lot of people use the, oh, well, that was in the past. People can change and grow, yada, yada, yada. Well, while I believed it from jump, Sam for, you know, from here for the tea, she made a video and basically pointed out like, these are the text messages. And that, I mean, it was him using the same slurs and it was him calling Jackie, Jackie Ina a gorilla. Now to this day, people will still be like, well, he wasn't talking about Jackie. He was talking about Angel. Either way, he referred to a person of color as a gorilla, but we know it was Jackie. So when that video came out, all the drama channels were like, this is so fake. Those text messages are doctored up, blah, 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 blah. So then Sam put out another video and it... It's one of those things where it's like, if you don't believe it, then there's no way anybody can change your mind because it was evident. Like it would have held up in a court of law. It like it would have held up. I'm just saying, at least that's what I like. I would like to believe because the evidence was there and and in a court of law, they could have shown the actual phone number. So, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to say that in a, in, the, in a court of law that would have held up. But Anyway, when Sam put out that second video, the drama channels were silent. They were silent because they had they put up. So Sam put out the first video. All the drama channels went on video and was like, "There, the text messages are fake." Sam put out the second video, crickets. 
So, and this was back in the day when something would literally happen and 10 minutes later, there'd be a video up. 10 minutes later, there'd be a video up. So I waited, I want to say like two or three days. It was about two or three days. Nobody said anything. And by nobody, I mean the bigger drama channels said anything. Um, and so I made a video and I was just like, what is going on? Why is it when when anything else happens, you guys are quick to call them out, but now you you guys aren't even talking about, uh, you're not even following up with what you talked about. And I want to say maybe some of them were talking about it on Twitter, but not everybody has Twitter. So if you talk about it on YouTube, re like follow up with it on YouTube. And at this time I was talking, me and, so I, I didn't have a lot of like YouTube friends or drama friends, but me and Dustin Daly used to talk regularly, like not every day and definitely like not on the phone. I'm just talking like in DMs and like I tag him and stuff. And this still pops up on my time hop. But yeah, so anyways, me and him were like kind of talking at the time and and then long story short, he, he ended up blocking me. There was a huge argument on Twitter because everybody was offended by by my 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 posts. They were offended by what I said and basically what I was what I was saying, because my my video was titled um, Our Drama Channels on Jeffree Star's Payroll. And I never said the word payroll in my video. Trust me, I know. And and then they were just like, nobody came to me. Um, and, and I guess they can say the same, like I didn't go to them and say, how come you didn't make a follow-up video, but nobody came to me and they were just talking mess about me. Like on the timeline, they were, um, they were subtweeting me and I, listen, if you guys want to watch the videos, I'll link them below because I talked about this when it first happened, but, but anyways, so from that point forward, I knew that people in the drama community just did not like me. They didn't like me. They wanted nothing to do with me. And that's, that's completely fine. But I continued to make my videos. And whenever drama would happen with Jeffrey, it was always crickets from the drama channels. And it was always me and all these other black commentary drama channels who were calling Jeffrey out. So I guess the thing that's triggering to me is because Trisha has come out and said her piece. Now granted, I, I know I don't have as large as a platform as Trisha. But what was so triggering to me is Trisha came out, you know, basically outing Shane. And now all of the drama channels are acting as if they've always called out these influencers on their bad behaviors, or they're acting like they, they're acting like this is brand new. They're acting like this is new news. This is not new news. It's not news to us at all because we've been saying this. And I'm like, are we not loud enough? Are, like, what's the issue? And, you know, and now, now that Trisha gets on camera and she's crying, people are like, I'm done with Shane. I'm done with Jeffrey. And I'm like, so it wasn't the racism or the, or the, or the transphobia or the, or the pedophile, the pedophilia. It wasn't any of that. It took a white woman to come on camera and cry. How come you guys did not hold that same energy when Jeffrey was out here calling black women gorillas and rats? Because I know that was an argument. You do not talk to women that way when they're talking about Jay. You don't talk about women that way. But Jeffrey talks about women like that. Like, I'm so confused. Is, is that what it takes? Do I have to get on here and cry? Is that what I have to do? I'm tired of, of the, it has to be blatant in order for people to understand it. What happened to people telling you and you just not, like, how can you not see it for yourselves? It's so frustrating. Then there's people out here that are like, oh yeah, I was the first person to talk about, you know, to talk about this because I was, people are out here like, oh, I'm, I was the first person to talk about Jeffrey. I was the first person. No, you weren't. No, you weren't. There's been people who have told me personally, 
I'm afraid to speak out against Jeffree Star. And the reason why people are afraid to speak out against Jeffree Star is because it doesn't bring in the views. People think you're a hater. People think you're doing it to, to be edgy. I don't, I don't know why people think that's the reason, but to sit up here and say that people like me and Earth and, and Tea Time and, and, and especially on Twitter, then you've got people like Dion and Tanisha, Leah, Kismet, like we, we've been saying these things for years, but it takes a white woman to get on camera and cry for people to finally get it. Why? And I don't, besides today, I don't think I'm ever mean or hostile. I don't think I give off that vibe. It's, it's not like I'm out here lecturing. Actually, I kind of am. But I don't feel like my tone is any different. I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Okay, so my channel has grown quite a bit in like, Oh my gosh, I cannot thank you guys enough for subscribing and watching my stuff. But what I've gotten is a lot of a lot of people will be like, oh my gosh, how come I didn't find your channel sooner? How come I didn't know about you? And you know why? Because like I said, the drama channels, they don't like me. So they don't they don't shout me out. And I'm not saying that anybody has to shout me out. However, that that's the reason. It literally costs nothing for um for a person to say oh yeah I, I was watching so and so and they did a good job yada 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 i've gotten shout outs from smoky glow creep show art to mimi and i i appreciate i appreciate that so much and people may not think a shout out is like a big deal but it's huge um that's like the chris rock special he was talking about one of one of Chris Rock specials. He was talking about, you know, it's who you know, blah, blah, blah. He said, half of you guys got a job because of who you know. A lot of people get a get an interview based off of a recommendation. So, and I'm not, again, I'm not saying that ev everybody has to support me or applaud me or whatever. But that's the reason. The reason why is because these bigger channels have never mentioned me. And, and again, that's that's fine. But people want to know why? That's why. And Black voices are always silenced. And I do know there are other Black content creators and they they stay away from 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 this kind of drama. And usually because it doesn't it doesn't pertain to them. Like this is rich white. This is rich white people problems. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. Right. I'm talking about rich white people problems. I think the reason why it bothers me so much is because we're allowing these these people at the top to continue to keep rich white people at the top. It's like the government. And then the reason why I talk about these things is because one, I want I want non-black people to listen and to learn. And I shouldn't have to be anybody's educator, but I choose to be. And two, I don't even think I said one. And the other thing is silence usually helps the oppressor, not the oppressed. That goes back to what I said about tolerating intolerance. If you tolerate intolerance, intolerance eventually will win. So when you're silent about certain issues, it does nothing for, for the oppressed. It only helps the oppressor to continue to do the things that they do. That's just like, we're talking, People, and, and I'm not victim blaming or shaming at all, but when, when the victims stay silent, it creates more victims. And that's why it's so frustrating to me to see these people just glance over what, what Jeffrey and Shane and Trisha have done. It's, it's harmful to communities. It's harmful to marginalized communities. So how much longer do I have to be strong for? Because I'm tired of that 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 trope that black women have to be strong and resilient. But all that does is that takes away 
from my vulnerability. Actually, I'm gonna read a tweet. This is from my girl, Crystal is bougie, bourgeois. And she said, I reject the strong black women tag. It's not a compliment. I am, I am as in need of nurturing and care as any other woman. Calling me strong ignores my vulnerability and usually means you want me to mule. No. And that's nothing but the truth. It's so frustrating. And now, and let's talk about this. Okay, why I'm so triggered? Because people now want to be like, "Well, I've always held Jeffrey." No, you haven't. No, you have not. And I know for a fact nobody's gonna come out and be like, "All right, guys, Sharita was right. Earth was right." Nikki and Mocha were right. Ain't nobody gonna come out and say that. Nobody's gonna come out and say that at all. And that's that's period. That's on period. But why do why do why do those people still get to to succeed? You know what I mean? And I mean, I'm over here minding my business, growing organically. As I'm I'm minding my business, growing my channel. Um, I love the people who are in my corner on my side. I mean, I have people in my comments all the time. Sharita, I do not agree with you on this video, but thank you for your perspective. Sharita, I do not always agree with you, but thank you for teaching me something new. Sharita, I do not agree with you. And like I said, these, these drama channels, they, they, they have been silent in certain situations. And that, like I said, this is so pretty. That keeps the oppressed oppressed. That's what that does. And, um, you know, and then like they, they move on without apologizing. Like Earth, Earth deserves a billion apologies publicly because you know, the apology has to be as loud as a disrespect. It's the hypocrisy for me. And it sucks because we are all in the same. Uh, we're all in the same community. And there's there's a divide. There's always a divide. Uh, I, it's just like the government. You know, there's always a divide and I kind of over it. Like, it's okay to be wrong, but you have to right those wrongs. And people, people will probably roll their eyes and, oh, it's not that deep. But again, it is. How do you think people are like, how did Shane get as big as he did? Because y'all let the racism slide. Y'all let the black face slide. Y'all let the pet slide. You guys let all of that slide. And when people would speak out about it, it was, uh, you're just, you're just a hater. You're just jealous. Instead of calling him out too, you were siding with the, with the oppressor, which makes you whatever he is. Same with Jeffrey. Jeffrey came from MySpace and Jeffrey was vile on MySpace. And people are like, how did he even make it so big on on YouTube because you guys allowed all of his BS to slide. People were silent on it. Silent when it came to calling Jeffrey out. Same with Trisha. There are people who I, cause I said, oh, when Trisha did blackface, so many people in my comments were like, oh my God, Trisha did blackface. I never heard about that. It's comedy at this point, y'all. It is pure comedy. And now, and now that Trisha has come out and publicly said something, now everybody wants a pat on the back. Now everybody wants a pat on the back. <laughs> All of this for a check. I, I've heard for forever that money is the root of all evil, but I did not know how deep that went. And people... People are suffering so that you can live. All right, so I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and then I'll come back and let you guys know what I look like at the end. All right, you guys, this is the 
final look. I'm not a big fan of it. That's why I threw on these big lashes to cover up this tragedy of an <laughs> of an eyeshadow look. So yeah, that is it. Um, I did have a couple of questions about these earrings. I have no idea where I got these from. And then this shirt along with the Black Girl Magic and then my orange shirt um, that had all the black women on it. Those uh, I got from silverytshirt.com. I'll leave the link below. And then I actually ordered some more. So be prepared to see more of these little, you know, fun t-shirts. So moral of the story is um, listen to black people, especially black women, especially when discussing things that, um, that directly affect us. And, and listen to understand, not to respond. Because I can tell you, a lot of us are irritated and, and, and at this point, it's just like, ugh, like, it's above me now. Remember that guy? It's above me now. <laughs> so anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. That helps me out a lot. Also, do not forget to link up with me on my social media, especially. All of that information will be down below in the description box. And until my next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye!